Rockets, you can't see me today, but that's okay. It's the special edition for the day that we were supposed to have off, but instead we have online. So we have a lot of stuff to unpack this week, so let's start with NewsPa. The satellite staff attended this journalism conference and won a bunch of awards. We had our Northeastern Wisconsin Scholastic Press Association state competition. We did pretty well with 56 awards overall and 17 of them being first place. And the satellite is always looking for new contributors, so if you're interested in anything like writing, photography, art, or just getting your work out there where people can see it, make sure to contact Mrs. Planky, and her email is down below. Thanks. We have results from the Build-A-Bear fundraiser from last month. Hi, Nina High School. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who donated or bought a bag um, for Bags for Build-A-Bears. I was able to raise and spend $5,069.95 um, on Build-A-Bears, and I was able to buy 274 Build-A-Bears, which I delivered to the mental hospital on April 10th. Thank you all for your support. Here's a quick recap of Honor Society's blood drive from last week. All right, hi, we're a part of National Honor Society. Um, so today we had our third blood drive of the year and it's going pretty well. I'm very thankful and grateful to all the students and even teachers and staff who came out today to donate blood and take time out of their days to just help those in need. Yeah, we've had a really awesome turnout. We had around 85 people sign up to donate. So that's really awesome. Okay, um, it's super fun volunteering at these, and I'm excited to be one of the new blood drive coordinators for next year. I'm excited to see her be coordinator, and I'm excited to volunteer again next year. And now for this week's sports update. A lot of games from last week were cancelled due to inclement weather, but we did see one track meet go ahead, at least part of it. Unfortunately, the wins ended pretty much right there. Girls Soccer decided to keep their game going as the rain was pouring down, and they lost. Girls Lacrosse is also off to a rough start after a 3-9 loss against a team from across the state. Boys Lacrosse lost again. On a more environmentally friendly note, we'd like to talk to you about Eco Club's planned Conan Cleanup Day. Here's more info. On April 23rd from 10 to 2 at the high school, we are hosting an event through Eco Club to clean out the Conant Courtyard. Yeah, and what we kind of plan on doing is we're going to get the we all the weeds out, all the dead leaves, and we're planning on making it just look a lot better. So if you want to come to this event, make sure you bring gloves, a lunch, we'll provide some water. If you have rakes or shovels you can bring, bring those as well. Yeah, and don't forget your friends too. It'll be a great time. Um, and we'll even get some volunteer hours, four hours. You can get that signed off if you need some volunteer hours done, and we hope to see you there. Yeah, and if you have any questions, our emails are right here. Yeah. We also have a brief advertisement regarding the spring drama Puffs, which is set to open this week. Thanks, now gather round, don't be shy. Welcome to the Puffs! If you're interested in seeing a longer promo with direct interviews of cast and crew, check out the Rocket News' Instagram, that is rocket underscore news underscore 2022, for a more detailed look at this production. GSA is now holding sign-ups for their upcoming Day of Silence. Here's more info. And we are from Gender and Sexuality Alliance, and we just wanted to share a little bit about an upcoming event and its purpose. Yeah, so on Friday, April 22nd, this marks the annual Day of Silence, which is a project of GLSEN, or G-L-S-E-N. So a little bit about that, the Glesson Day of Silence is a national student-led demonstration where LGBTQ plus students and allies around the country and the world take a vow of silence to protest against the harmful effects and harassment of discrimination of LGBTQ plus people in schools. We do have sign-up days for this, and it's going to be during lunch in the cafeterias, which the day for those will be Thursday the 14th and Tuesday the 19th. Students can sign up to indicate that they will plan on participating, and we thank you guys so much for your respect for this very important event in our community. Lastly, here's info about a school supplies fundraiser which is collecting items for the Dominican Republic. 
Hi, I'm with Nina Kicklove. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be doing a school supplies drive to donate to my dad's school in the Dominican Republic, the one he went to like elementary school at. So if you could bring your any old like notebooks, folders, pencils, markers, colored pencils, really anything you don't need for the end of the year or that you didn't use this year, we really appreciate it. If you brought it in, you can bring it to Miss Underhill's room all the way until May 5th. So yeah. This week's weather will see unusually cold temperatures for mid to late April. We might have a one nice day on Thursday, but that's about it. Cold and rain for the rest of the week. That's all we have. Rockets be amazing.